Brian used to uh, be the bartender at Patty's Place on Bank Street, which now is Quinn's, I believe. And uh, she hired me on and off for 15 years, which is really, really neat. She was a wonderful, wonderful human being, and I was just, everybody in the bar was in love with her because she was so polite, and you, you know, she would shame you into behaving properly. <laughs> you didn't want to disappoint Mary Lou. And this is about the first time I saw her. I was playing Christmas Pub on Queen Street in Ottawa. Uh, and I got a gig. I'd been on the road for about four or five years with a country rock band, and I started to learn how to play solo again. And uh, I got gasoline money for standing up there for four hours a night every once in a while. And the uh, silly servants would come in, they'd leave an hour early and get there by four, and by the time nine o'clock came around, they were right. <laughs> so I'd play, they'd ignore me, they didn't throw anything, so I was doing okay, I get it. Mary Lou came in and the room went silent. And I figured it wasn't me. <laughs> I looked up and she was sitting at the bar and said, everybody was just like, I'll buy it. <laughs> and uh, she glared at him, everybody just so went back to talking. <laughs> Get you with the first time that I met you. Hey, the style on you sure took me by surprise. In your eyes there was a spark, and you was chasing out the darkness from the room, just like the moon upon the rise. And your hair hung in dark tress to your shoulders at your neck, and you sat there at the room for just to see. And I bought your arms and back with a flourish and a wrap. You wore a shawl of royal burgundy. I believe the month was May, but it was so gray. I believe I played another new guitar. I was working for the money and the music and the fun I had, learning how to play the local bar. Just another average evening, no one listening, no one leaving, no one paying much attention, even me. I looked up and caught a knife full of black Irish. So delightful in a shawl of royal burgundy. I felt the sun on my face, the rain's cool embracing more places anyone could ever see. But I've never in my life seen anything that's half as nice as seeing Mary Lou in burgundy. Well, if you've ever lost the lyric to the melody you're playing, you really get a sense of where you are. And you gave me such a glare, and you saw that I was staring at you, that turned around and sat down at the bar. So I ducked back in my song, but I looked up before too long, and shortly after turned about three sheets of green. Because he comes in from the cold and throws his arm about the shoulder of the Irish in the shawl of burgundy. I felt the sun on my face, the rain's cool embracing more places anyone could ever see. But I've never in my life seen anything that's half as nice as see a Mary Lou in burgundy. Travel quite a bit, I got to work a wee bit more and one day I finally got to get out of the bar. It was life and love and laughter, dreams and happy ever after. It was a wonder lost and too many guitars. <laughs> <laughs> out to the chair by the fire and the slow pull on the brighter and the charm of an inspiring memory. Still never in my life seen anything. It's half as nice. 
Rosemary who in Burgundy. I felt the sun on my face, the rain's cool embracing more places anyone could ever see. But I've never in my life seen anything that's half as nice as seeing Mary Lou and Burgundy. I felt the sun on my face, the rain's cool embracing more places anyone could ever see. But I've never in my life seen anything that's half as nice as seeing Mary Lou and Burgundy.